example 4.9 or 5.9 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. A piston cylinder device initially contains 0.5 meter cubed of nitrogen gas at 400 kilopascals and 27 Celsius. An electrical heater within the device is turned on and is allowed to pass a current of 2 amps for 5 minutes from a 2 volt source. Nitrogen expands at a constant pressure and the heat loss is equal to 2800 joules or current during the process. The goal of the example is to determine the final temperature of nitrogen. The first thing we do in this problem is to write a balance of energy. We got the amount of energy in minus the energy leaving is equal to the change of energy in the system. The amount of energy in, we have the electrical work provided by the uh, electrical heater. The amount of energy out is the heat leaving the system plus the boundary work done um, by the system. So we have this is going to be the Q that is leaving and the boundary work that is leaving the system. The change in the energy in the system is internal energy, change in the internal energy, potential energy, and uh, kin kinetic energy. However, since the system is not moving or it doesn't have a change in position, there is no change in potential or kinetic energy. Therefore, the change in the energy of the system reduces simply to the change in internal energy. If we rearrange these terms, we see that the work of the, electric, uh, the electrical heater minus the heat leaving, we have the change of internal energy plus the boundary work leaving. These two terms reduce to the change in enthalpy in the system. So now we're going to describe how we're going to calculate each one of these terms. The amount of work produced by the heater is going to be equal to the voltage, the current, and the change in time. That is going to give us 120 volts, uh, 2 amps, 5 minutes, and then we convert this into seconds. We said that 1 minute has 60 seconds, and do we do the conversion between volts and amps in kilojoules, we find that one kilojoule per second is equal to 1,000 volts, amps, volts, and volts cancelled, amps, and amps cancelled, minutes and minutes, seconds and seconds. So we're left with the electrical work is equal to 72 kilojoules. The amount of heat leaving the system is provided and then now we need to calculate the change in enthalpy. The change in enthalpy is simply going to be the mass that we're going to have times the change in a specific enthalpy. Since nitrogen is an ideal gas, we could reduce this relationship to simply be mass times the value of Cp and the difference between temperatures. Before we could utilize this equation, we need to find the value of the mass. We're going to use ideal gas law, which says that P1, V1 is equal to MRT1. The value for R for nitrogen is equal to 0.297 kilopascals meter cubed divided by kilogram Kelvin. And then we substitute and we find the value of the mass. The mass is going to be the initial pressure, which is equal to 400 kilopascals. The initial volume, which is equal to 0.5 meter cubed. The value of the constant, which is 0.297 kilopascals meter cubed kilogram Kelvin and the initial temperature in Kelvin. Notice that we have, two seven, uh, we have 27 plus 273 to make it into Kelvin. Kelvin, Kelvin cancels, meter cube and meter cube, kilopascal and kilopascal. The ending unit is kilogram, which is a unit of mass. 
and we do this uh, operation it gives us that the mass is equal to 2.245 kilograms now that we have the mass uh, we only are missing the value of CP which we find in the back of the book for nitrogen it gives us 1.039 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute all these equations the value of change of enthalpy the value of uh, electrical work and the value of heat living into this equation so that we could find the final value of the temperature theta now that we have all the information we substitute back into this equation and we say 72 kilojoules which is the work done by the uh, electrical heater minus 2800 uh, joules of heat leaving uh, we convert it we divide it by a thousand to make it into kilojoules to make sure that the units are consistent and then we substitute the value of the change in enthalpy which the mass gives us 2.245 kilojoules the value for cp is equal to 1.039 kilojoules kilogram Kelvin and this is simply T2 minus T1 and the value for T1 is equal to 27 Celsius if we solve for T2 we find that the value of the temperature at the end is going to give us 329.67 Kelvin or uh, 56.67 degrees Celsius